Jay Stano here. Today we're going to be talking to you not about a turtle, which we have here. This turtle is stranded. Um, I'm on my electric bike, so I'm not able to pick it up and take it back. But I did call the Amos Rehabilitation Keep, and they're going to come pick it up. So they're on their way here right now. But uh, because it's here, because it's alive, I thought, why not tell you uh, something cool about what's living on it? And so we find, whenever we find these turtles, this is a loggerhead, uh, we often find things that are growing all over it. Um, for instance, you can see all the green algae that's on it right now. So that's, that can be common. Um, barnacles is the other thing. Sometimes we find skeleton shrimp. Um, so these barnacles on here, uh, they're called turtle barnacles. And, they're all, and the reason they're called that is because really they're only found on um, sea turtles. And, uh, <laughs> hey, this is a good sign that uh, it's got movement. Luckily, uh, the ARC folks will be here in a few minutes to pick them up. Now, the, the particular barnacle here, it's made up of plates and then moving parts in the middle. These barnacles can actually move. So they will move to the sea turtle uh, part that has more flow to it. Uh, so over a month period, it can actually move over a, an entire scoot of a sea turtle. And uh, they, scientists have looked at these for years and uh, they can move about 1.4 millimeters per day. So that's pretty slow. Now, why would you think that they live on sea turtles? Well, uh, these barnacles, as you know, uh, other barnacles that are out in the world, um, what feeds on them, uh, there's a lot of things that feed on them. So they'd be avoiding predators is why they would prefer that these um, uh, barnacles grow on the, the sea turtle. Now, the, it doesn't hurt the sea turtle. Uh, so um, that's a good thing. So it's not like, uh, it's not a symbiotic relationship where you would, um, you know, have a benefit from both animals on there. Really the sea turtle, there is no benefit for the barnacle to live there. It's only a benefit to the barnacle to live there to avoid predator. These uh, barnacles can live almost two years. So about uh, 21 months is their lifespan. Now these could hurt the animal in a way to where if they're too many around the eye or uh, they're all around um, the mouth and they can't feed properly or it weights them down too much. I've seen these before where they just have a ton of barnacles on them and it makes it hard for them to be able to um, you know, move around correctly uh, to be able to feed and stuff like that. Now these are crustaceans. Uh, the, Barnacle is, you can uh, think of it similar to a crab or a lobster or something like that. And actually when it comes out of its uh, plate, it actually uh, uses its legs to filter feed. Sea turtle barnacles can also live uh, not only on loggerheads, but we find them on green sea turtles as well. So hopefully you learned something new today about barnacles uh, living on sea turtles. And we're gonna go ahead and get this turtle rescued so that uh, it can get well and go back to the Gulf of Mexico. All right, talk to y'all later, bye.